Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today, we're kind of doing like a no air pro day. Yeah. Sort of. My friend David Sailors of Liberty Suppressors is joining us here on the range. We're going to do a quick video for you guys. And it's going to be all about the new Agent 556 five, can. That's right. Let's get into it right now. All right, Dave. So, give us the rundown on the new can here what's the uh, thought process behind this all right this is an all titanium 556 five, suppressor to keep mm -hmm. the weight down it has a bunch of features that you know if you want to go and read about them or watch the youtube video that i've made there's a bunch of information there but mm -hmm. the, the gist of it the real magic is in the one and three eighths 24 standard threaded socket on right. the back so what i call the universal suppressor standard or universal silencer standard right right so you guys are making your can to this and the awesome part about that is that allows folks to not only use your accessories on the back end anyone else that's building to that standard right? exactly okay we can use like it's going to ship with the dead air chemo it's also mm -hmm. going to have the ability to use like the silencer co one and three h 24s the griffin armament which you'll see a little later it even has the capacity to use the yhm direct thread plates and matter whose mount you have as long as it's a quality manufacturer and they're made to the one and three h 24 industry standard they'll fit our agent suppressor so oh, okay. you don't, that way you don't have to buy a whole lot of extra adapters. If you already have a tackle box full of mounts, you can just get the suppressor module. Absolutely. Okay. So is that out right now? Yes. It's on okay. the website and it's available and you can get them. You could probably get them through Hank Strange if you're in Florida. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, explain to folks what it comes with. All right. You can pick it in three tiers. You can pick it as the suppressor module mm -hmm. with no mounts. You can pick it with the half 28 end plate, which is basically our industry standard half 28 adapter. So it'll fit on any half 28 firearm. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get it with the half 28 thread plate or not or and the dead air chemo mount that goes in the silencer and one of their half 28 muzzle brakes as a package so the beautiful thing about this is for any of these suppressors or the suppressor systems from all these different companies including liberty that use the universal thread back here if you already have their stuff you can just very easily switch out the back end stuff and put a different can on it yeah. You know, and go through the different guns. So one of the things that we did here, a shooting, we actually used uh, Griffin Armament has an A2 adapter. Right. It goes so, right on a regular bone stock A2 flash suppressor. Yeah, which is awesome because yeah. that's what most of most of these firearms are coming with, right? right. Most that's, of your, your carbines, your, your rifles are coming with that. Absolutely. The most yeah. prolific flash suppressor on yeah, the And it's AR awesome. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so we actually tried that out. So here you go, this is your run-of-the-mill A2 flash hider. <laughs> and then this is the uh, Griffin, uh, what did we call it? Where's the box for this? I don't know. I don't remember the part number, I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'll look it up. So this is the Griffin A2 flash hider adapter, right? For the industry standard 1 and 3 eighths thread. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that on. So basically that, that uh, shroud just goes over. And then you thread that in. And that seals it over the flash hider. Yep. And then the silencer screws directly onto it. And I'm spinning it because there we go. Now it's tight. Yep. All right, let's shoot that. Okay, here we go. 
Mm -hmm. So just walk folks through what we did there with that. All right, yeah, we simply have a set of wrenches. Just keep going here. Mm -hmm. we have, it'll ship with a pair of these wrenches. Mm -hmm. We break the suppressor loose. The pressure has these slots that the wrenches fit in, as you can see. Mm -hmm. The mount on the silencer will have a notch in it for the other one, and they work against each other to, mm -hmm. to break it loose. And you screw out the end plate, screw in the griffin mount, put the mount on the gun, and you're off to the races. Good to go. Yeah, it actually worked pretty well. You know, I got, I've got, the, I don't know, what do you think? Is that your first time using that, or you've probably seen that before? Yeah, um, that's not the first time I've seen mm -hmm. an adapter of that design. Mm -hmm. To fit a A2 flash suppressor, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's that's happened in the past. But that's a but theirs works really well. I gotta admit, that's a really well made mount. Yeah. So now, uh, what was the other gun that we shot? What did we? we um, the other mount we shot was on our Adam Arms upper with oh, okay. the um, Dare chemo mount. Okay. <laughs> so now, which mount are we switching to? All right. So what we're gonna do now with this rag, so I can hold it longer, is a Dead Air chemo. One and three eighths twenty four. This is an industry standard chemo that Dead Air makes. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to snug it on this. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. <laughs> These wrench slots fit basically everybody's mount, and that's tight. And now we can put it on. The and now we can go. Let's just show that. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, no, take it off. Let's just show that this is a this is a dead air, mm -hmm. right? So here we've got a dead air. Uh, is this a brake? I think it looks like correct. A yeah, it's so. the chemo brake. Chemo brake, and it's go a standard for it. half twenty eight chemo brake. Once you get it lined up, it drops on, and the can is on. Good to go. She's a little toasty, but she's fine. Sounds a lot better on 5.56 on a yeah. 16 inch carbine, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that longer barrel. Yep. Your head space looks good here. Yeah. Did I wear did I wear my glasses in the other one? Probably uh, not. No. <laughs> I could actually yeah, I could actually see that flash. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. So we used that. We shot. That was pretty easy to do. The one thing mm -hmm. here, obviously, the can's going to heat up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're kind of pressed for time. <laughs> but, so, yeah. so there might be a little water introduced here to cool <laughs> things off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but it works. If you've got the time, you could take your time. You just want to, you know, realize that it is going to get hot. Obviously, but it's easy enough, right? Yeah. You, you yeah. could you could literally, I think in the in the video you guys will see, you just unthreaded it mm -hmm. from the uh, from the other gun that it was on, from the jackal, right? And then you just put it on the uh, your your Adam's Arms upper, right? Yeah, yeah it's just a simple switch yeah. it over, screw it on, lock it yeah. down, and off you go to the races. Yes, and then after that, we actually switched over to 22. So since this is a 5.56 can, you can do that. You could switch over and shoot 22. So. There's that. Get the get this rifle out of the way. Okay, so now we're shooting the uh, 22LR Chris Vector, and it is threaded. So going to use the thread adapter. Where's this thread adapter from? This is from you guys? Yes, this is our one and three eighths industry standard thread adapter. And then we put the silencer module on it. And it's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's completely different experience. Yeah. <laughs> Safety. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Is that Lola? Oh, okay. Yeah.
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You forget how much fun 22s are. Right. So so I'm going to recommend you don't do that a lot, but you can do it a little. It won't hurt anything to shoot it a little. Yeah. For, but, but yeah. So, so okay. So you really don't want to shoot that too much, right? I mean, no, I wouldn't okay. shoot more than about 500 rounds through it of, of rim fire because mm -hmm. it's going to build up lead in your chamber. Oh, okay. Because it's going to be dirtier, obviously, yeah. going 22. You, yeah. can, you can shoot 50 rounds. It won't hurt anything. A yeah. box of shells is not going to hurt anything. And as you see in the video, it sounds really good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it sounds awesome. So you could do this. Now, obviously, this is 556 five, and if you want to switch to other guns you know there's different cans out there for mm -hmm. that i know you guys do have other cans that you're using the same thread thread pitch in right but then there's other folks that that have different cans as well so you can go yeah, to 30, yeah. 30 cal whatever you want right? exactly yeah. exactly well, like with the mystic x mounts mm -hmm. if you have a bunch of those you can get a varioso adapter from us that converts the mystic x to these right. and then you can just screw your existing half 28 fixed barrel adapter into this silencer and you don't have to buy one yes so I think that's really cool. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad you brought it by so I could check it out. Yeah. You know, we're going to do some more stuff on this. Dave was here for a very short time. The sun is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, in a, it's over Hawaii by now. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to see more, uh, Dave talking about this more in, in depth, we did a podcast with Liberty Suppressors where we talked about this. We'll do, get some videos out there to you guys as well. But if the folks want to get more info, how can they do that, Dave? www.libertycans.net. They can always go to the YouTube channel, but that's the place, that's the place to go is libertycans.net. They can find everything they need there. Email, right. phone numbers, yada, yada. Absolutely. There you go. Very easy to uh, get in touch with these guys as well. All right. Until the next one, we're out of here. We'll see you. Peace. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Make sure to check out handstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.